Hey buddy, yeah, Sam back once again. Just shot the unboxing video, and now I'm gonna set it up for the first time. So if you're a brand new Samsung user and you wanna see what the first turn on experience is like, guess what? The video is for you. So let's have a, let's have a gander. Dun dun dun. And she's on. So the Galaxy S 10 Plus, secured by Noxt, powered by Android. Now again, this is my first Samsung device since the Galaxy S 8 Plus. So I didn't actually try the Note, and I didn't try the, the S9s either. So I am kind of coming back to the Samsung fray, so to speak. So we'll see whether or not things have changed, things have improved. Um, again, I've never really hated the Samsung phones. I've always been a very, you know, kind of a supporter of a lot of things they've done in the past. So hopefully they've improved them again. So let's go. So we're United England, United Kingdom. What else have we got in there? As you can see, there are many other options available for if you would like to change that. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So boom, let's go straight into it. It says Insta insert a SIM card. I'm gonna do that a bit of a later date. So check out some information to get started. So you got, these are things that you can choose whether you want to accept or not accept. Now, if you don't accept some of them, it basically means you can't use the phone. So you kind of have to accept some of them. And what I like about it is actually do, they are telling you now some are optional or not. So you've got your end user agreement, which you have to agree to. There's no option on that one. You've got some di uh, can't say the word. diagnostic data, information linking, and marketing information. I don't agree to any of them. I, agree, I would say I would not agree to them either. So I would go straight to next. So I would just choose the top one, the only one you have to do mandatory, and go that one. So bring your old data for a quicker setup. Do you want to do it wirelessly? Do you want to do a cable or do you want to skip this? What this means is, let's say you've got an old Samsung device, you could do it wirelessly. So if you're coming from an S8, an S9, an S7, whatever it would be, you can then wirelessly basically transfer all your data, so your apps, etc., etc., from that device over to this device. You got a cable or USB connector. Now inside the box, you do actually get a OTG cable, which means you can actually connect it to another device, whether it be an Android phone or an iPhone. Now, I think it's really smart. I think they call it Samsung Smart Switch. And effectively, you just plug your old phone into it. It pulls over as much information as it can, which in nine times out of 10 is majority of the stuff. And then boom, you've got all your stuff on there. Or you can skip it for now. So I'm actually gonna skip this for now because I'm gonna kind of set up as a brand new device. It's gonna to connect to my Wi-Fi network, so I'll be two seconds. So I've just put my details in to connect to my wireless network here. And boom. Checking the quality of internet. Oh, we are now connected. Happy days. So let's go to next on that one. Checking for any updates. So this is going to be cool. See if there's any updates straight out of the box. Now, I do believe there is an update. I think Samsung even tweeted that there is an update available. Uh, it's not asked me for one. It's not Tom whether there is one. So, hmm. So I'm just going to log into my Google account and we'll go to the next stage as well. Oh, at this point, if it's your first ever Android phone, this is where you can create an account. So you do need a Google account. You don't need a Google account, but let's be honest, you kind of really need a Google account to use an Android phone. Um, a, a Google Android phone, anyway, maybe not like a, an Amazon an Amazon uh, tablet, etc. Anyway, I'm just going to log in with two seconds. All right, so now I'm logged into my Google account. It now wants to see if I want to actually restore from a previous phone. So as you can see, it's just got these three phones it's currently linking with this Google account. So I think that's going to be showing my Pixel 2. I think that's the Mate 20 Pro. I think that was the P20 Pro, maybe. Not too sure, I can't remember now. But again, I'm going to set up as a brand new device. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give phones a, a chance from the beginning. Fresh install, so then there can be no confusion over, oh, is it because you restored this, is it because you restored that, etc. I'm starting fresh, um, and then I'll, I'll transfer stuff over as I actually need it. So anyway, this is to protect your phone. So obviously on this phone, you have the in-screen fingerprint scanner. You've got face recognition. You've got pattern, pin, password, or not now. So I'll tell you what, we're going to start with the fingerprint. So a quick and easy way to unlock your phone and use to verify in apps. Continue. So you need to also put on a pin or a pattern. Let's say you lose your finger or you lose your thumb, whatever. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a pin in there. So I'll be two seconds. There we go. Right. So now it's time for me to do my thumbprint. And again, as you can see there, it's just telling me exactly what I need to do on there. So what we'll do is we'll just give it a quick shot. So job done. Yep. 
press press a little harder. Scanning it in. Oh, and then rotate it. It's asking me to rotate it as well. To make sure that I'm getting every bit of my thumb on the actual sensor. So now it wants to get a full scan. So I think it wants me to do the whole of it like that. Yep. And there we go. Job done. So we'll go to next. And just a sec on that one. So let's let it do its thing. Oh, actually it's, asking, it's already gone to there, hasn't it? So again, I don't have some of this stuff on. So an example is you want to back up and to the Google Drive, etc. I have that one on. Use location, I have that one on. And allow the scanning, but I don't send my usage in diagnostic data. I just don't do that one. So I'm going to let it do its thing. And we'll come right back once it's uh, finalized that. Right, and we are now at the Get Recommended Apps. So let's see what this is all about. So apps will download when Wi-Fi is available. So we've got Essential Apps. So we've got the My EE, because this phone is on the EE network. So let's go next. And we can sign into a Samsung account. So obviously you've got a Google account, and Samsung would also like to, to create theirs as well. It's entirely up to you. Now, I think you can do their tracking, but again, you can do that via Google. Personally, I don't use the Samsung stuff, so I just ignore us altogether, so I skip it. And if you want to skip on all of this, it's like, mm, you can do Samsung Pay, Samsung Cloud, Bixby, all this kind of stuff. Don't get me wrong, some of it's really cool. But the majority of the stuff that I use here is already built in with my Google stuff. So personally, because I swap phones all the time, I just say skip this one. So we're all done. Um, unused apps will be put to sleep to extend your battery life. This will cause the apps to stop working correctly. Tap here to prevent this. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. And I think that's just about it. Happy days. So let's do. Oh, do 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 do. Let's put me uh, my current address in, which I am back in the UK, back in good old Keithley. All right, man, calm down, calm down. I don't want to bring my stuff right now, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that volume down. It can be quiet. Do what? How do we actually make it silent? Oh, I want to go silent. So let's pull it down. Like she's just doing quite a lot of stuff in the background. And let's go to Mew. Happy days. Now, the first thing off the bat is when you first look at it, it looks a bit big and a bit ugly. If you don't like that kind of thing. To be honest with you, I don't think it looks that... Yeah, let's be honest, it looks ugly, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks bloody ugly. So you can swipe up and down. The icons are just far, far too big. In terms of how fluid it feels, just straight away. Again, it's not really doing much in the background from what I can see. It's just wants me to bring my details. And aha, there is an urgent software update available. So, urgent software update is available, urgent device care. So, I'm just going to click update on that one. I don't think that's the update that Samsung was tweeting out about. But, let's have a look. Let's see if there's any updates in the actual... Okay. That's going to cut the video short now, then, people. What I will be doing is I'll be doing some more videos based upon the actual device itself. But that was just the initial setup. To see how it looks when you do first take it out of the box. And as you can see... A bit of a fingerprint magnet in it, but it looks nice when you get the light in it like that. But yeah, if you have any questions about the S10 Plus and um, anything else, you know what to do. You can hit me up in the comment down below. Again, I do sound, I'm sorry, I do sound a little even a bit harder to understand right now. Again, under the weather, hey, not much to do about it. If you need to get this final video, leave down below, kill the plague, and we'll uh, see if we can kill it together. Anyway, people, I want to say thank you for watching. Again, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, I'm everywhere under at Sam J. Pullen, all one word. Anyway, I will hopefully see you. Nah, let's be honest, I won't see you, but you will definitely see me. Well, you'll hear me in my next video. Cheers, everyone.